Okay, let's begin with what is the study of gerontology. Gerontology is the study of the aging process from a multidisciplinary perspective. It's often linked to biology, psychology, and sociology. These are the three major fields. However, they're not the only fields, of course, because there are many other um, professions that contribute dramatically to our knowledge, um, although one might argue that they're interrelated with biology, psychology, and sociology in some way. So um, additional fields that we'd like to acknowledge are medicine, nursing, dentistry, physical and occupational therapy, psychology, psychiatry, economics, political science, pharmacy, and social work. Each of these has their own contributions and their own focus where, uh, you know, of course, dentists are focused on primarily on oral health, and oral health has been linked to uh, memory in some studies. We found, for example, that uh, people that have poor dental hygiene uh, have a higher risk of Alzheimer's. Fascinating. We think it has something to do with bacteria in the mouth getting into the blood, um, and that causes an infl inflammatory process, and that inflammatory process uh, leads to changes in the brain, which leads to Alzheimer's disease. Uh, that's just one way that um, we can dentists are contributing to the field of, of aging. Of course, the field of aging can contribute to dentists by sharing with uh, dentists our knowledge of ways to interact with older people, with um, studying what's possible with changes over time. For example, not all decay is, is necessary over time. And um, yeah, there's different uh, patterns of interaction with older people that are uh, not easy to train and require a lot of understanding of what it's like to be an older person. Um, so uh, the first article I uh, asked you to read is by uh, Alkima and Ali. It's called Gerontology's Future, an Integrative Model for Disciplinary Advancement. I think this is an excellent uh, primer for the current state of gerontology. So gerontology is kind of a discipline in itself. It's uh, studying aging is uh, is not unique. However, each of those disciplines we just mentioned is uh, studies aging on its own. Um, gerontology is kind of more when these study when these disciplines come together to understand aging in a more clear way. So uh, the, the goal of gerontology would be to become as recognized as biology, uh, psychology, and sociology. Uh, but of course, we can never fully separate ourselves from biologists, psychologists, and sociologists. So uh, a lot of the theories of aging are actually uh, theories of psychology of aging or theories of the sociology of aging, but there's increasingly uh, an emphasis on creating interdisciplinary studies and interdisciplinary theories that link concepts, and we'll get into that a little bit more later. Um, so uh, I think the there's a wonderful chart on uh, the Alkima and Ali article that describes different ways of viewing uh, <coughs> Excuse me. That, that, well, how to view gerontology. So, based on that chart, um, it shows that aging, gerontology in the center. I know you can't see clearly, so you have to look at your own uh, document, page 578, on the first article on Blackboard. Uh, they, they start off with age in the left corner, aging, and aged. So, eight, by age, we're talking about the concept of age. So age defines who you are, what you can do. So for example, things happen at a certain age biologically, right? There's certain developments that happen biologically, but also psychologically as well. Uh, you have different levels of understanding, different capacities through just age itself. And so sociologically, you're viewed differently uh, depending on your age. And then there's aging, which is the process of the passage of time. 